Hi there everybody, this is Brian back again with another 100% PowerPoint and I'm really excited because finally I get to do the first in the two-part tutorial to teach you how to build a walking character in PowerPoint. So as you can see on the screen here, we have a couple of examples of what this will look like, but as usual, you didn't come here to look at an animation, you came here to learn how to do it. So first of all, I'm going to escape out of here. And I'm going to create a new page because, as usual, I like to do things from scratch. Now, because this can be a little bit labor intensive, I'm going to be breaking this up into two parts. So the first part is going to be dedicated to building out the various assets that you'll need. And then the second part of this tutorial coming later will be to explain how to build out the animations, which actually should be pretty quick once you get all of your components built out. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create the legs um, and to do that we're going to start by grabbing the line tool and we're going to go ahead and draw a line and let's go ahead and make this um, 0.8 inches and we're going to make the width we'll say 15 point and for the cap type we're going to round that off like so and then make sure that you have your selection pane open and we're going to rename this so if you click on it we're going to name this the thigh next let's go ahead and duplicate this line and drag it down and basically you want to snap it because you want the endpoints to overlap each other and for this new one we're going to click on it and rename this one and we're just going to name it hidden and it's important that you kind of go through and you know maintain a good naming structure for this because you're going to be building a lot of parts and it's just helpful to kind of keep everything a little bit in line so go ahead and select that one that you named hidden and you're going to go to uh, the format shape and you're going to bump that transparency all the way up to 100. Select both of them and then group. So right click on it and select group or you can hit control G. Next you're going to duplicate this shape again. So duplicate and just go ahead and drag it over here and then back in your selection pane we're going to rename your first group over there the right thigh and we're going to call this one well actually we'll come back to that in a sec because first of all we're going to change thigh here to calf and we'll keep hidden the same and let's just go ahead and flip it vertically we're going to ungroup and then we're going to group it again. And now we're going to rename this group the right calf. Next, select both of your items and we're going to go to arrange and go to align and go to align left and then arrange and align to the top. Now, if you hold down control, click and hold and drag, you're going to create your second leg. And we're going to go in here and we're going to rename this one. So for the right calf, if you click on it a couple times, you can change the name to left calf. And for right thigh, go ahead and change that to left thigh. Finally, and this is why it was important to name your various elements uh, properly, because now you can go into your selection pane and select calf under right. And we're going to change the color a little bit because it's a little bit further back in the distance. So let's go ahead and just make that, we'll just make it this gray here. And then same thing, go back to your selection pane. And for thigh, 
same thing. We're just going to go in and we're going to make it that same color gray. And as you can see now, you have this kind of nice little depth where the uh, the right legs look a little bit lighter than the or darker than the left legs. We're going to go ahead and bring these legs down. So just go ahead and select both of them and bring them down to somewhere a little bit below mid screen and bring them somewhere a little bit towards the center. It's helpful if you have your rulers on because you can kind of use the rulers to tell where things should be. And now let's go ahead and just make the pelvis and the easiest way is just grab another line and as long as you have your snap on it'll show you your uh, your anchor points here and you can basically just hold down shift and drag and let go. And once again, let's just go ahead and make this 15. And actually, let's bump it up a little bit more. So we're going to make it 17, just so it's taking, it's overtaking the legs just a little bit. And once again, we're going to uh, make the cap round. Let's go ahead and select that uh, pelvis. And we're going to go into the selection pane. And let's just make sure to name this because like I said, we want to make sure that we're maintaining a good naming structure. So we're just going to name this pelvis. Next, we're going to build out the torso. So a quick and easy way to do the torso is just grab a rounded rectangle. Um, you could also just do a regular rectangle. It really just depends on how you want to build out your character. But the rounded rectangle, in my opinion, is kind of the easiest to work with. And we're just going to go ahead and draw a rectangle here. And let's make it, you know, something around the same size or same width as your pelvis. And we can kind of play around with the rounded edges. And we're going to, let's just change this name immediately. And we'll just make this torso. And Finally, let's go ahead and select the rounded rectangle again, and we're going to draw another one, kind of smaller here, maybe about halfway down, and then just have it extend a little bit beyond the torso, not much, but just a little bit. And we're going to name this one chest. And let's go ahead and change the color of these two. Um, you can color it as you please, but for this tutorial, we'll just kind of keep everything gray just to, you know, keep it pretty uniform. And let's just make it the same color as you made that right leg. So that slightly darker light gray. Next, we're going to go ahead and make some arms for our um, character here so once again grab the line tool and this time let's go ahead and if you hold down shift and then click and just drag it down and I'd say just bring it down to about where the torso ends here and similar here let's go ahead and change the weight and we'll go ahead and make it a little bit smaller than or a little bit thinner than the uh, leg so we'll make it um, 13 point and once again, let's go ahead and round the cap type. And we're going to name this one too, because we want to maintain that good naming structure. And we're going to name this one bicep. And now let's go ahead and hold down control, click and drag. And we're going to rename this one hidden and same thing as we did with the legs let's go ahead and just bring this down and bring it over and just kind of check it and it looks like it snapped nicely there and so for hidden we're going to select it go back to the format shape path and we're going to bump that transparency up to a hundred select the bicep and we're going to group, so control G. And then if you go into your selection pane, we're going to rename this group and we're going to make it the right 
bicep. And once again, let's go ahead and hold down control, click and drag it over. And let's just go ahead and do it this way. We're going to select the bicep in here and we're going to rename this to forearm. Keep hitting the same. And let's change bicep up here to forearm. And we're just going to go ahead and flip this vertically as well. And now go ahead and hold down shift and select the right bicep. And we're going to once again, if you go up to home, go to arrange, align left, and it should already be aligned top, but let's just go ahead and align the top just to be sure. And it looks like we're all good. And what you're going to want to do, because this is technically the right forearm and bicep, is it should be behind the torso. So you're going to keep both of these selected, and in the selection pane, just drag them and go behind the torso and the pelvis. And actually, it should actually go behind the left calf and left uh, thigh as well. And now we're just going to go ahead and hold down shift and just drag these. So now you can see it's nice and hidden behind here. And I just realized I forgot to do one thing. So we're going to go ahead and just bring this back out here because we also want to recolor these as well. So go ahead and select forearm, go up to a uh, shape format, and let's go ahead and just make this I'll make it just a, a little bit darker than that, um, that right leg. And back in the uh, selection pane, go ahead and select bicep, and same thing, just select that same color. All right, now select both of them, and just drag it right there, and kind of have it somewhat aligned with your left leg. Next, go ahead and go back to the selection pane. And if you hold down control and click on the right bicep, and then keep holding control and click on the uh, right forearm, it selects both of them. And you're gonna hold down control, click on either the bicep or the forearm, and then hold down shift. And let's just drag this so that it somewhat aligns with your right leg over there and you also don't want it to go too far off of the torso so right about here is good and we're going to rename these so for the right forearm let's just change it to left and for the right bicep let's change that to left and let's go ahead and recolor these as well so select the forearm and go to your format background, or sorry, your format shape. And we're going to, we'll go ahead and change this to match up to the color of the uh, front leg here. So there we go. And we're going to do the same with the bicep. Finally, let's wrap this up by building the head. So we're gonna go up to here and grab the oval. And let's just draw a circle here. And we're going to kind of snap and align it to the, uh, the left arm up here in the front. And let's change the color. So we'll make it the same color as the left arm. So this lighter gray. And we're going to go up to the selection pane and we're gonna name this oval the head.
finally, we're going to do just a little bit of repositioning of a couple of the limbs here, and this is just going to be a good head start to when we go into the animation phase. So we're going to go here and we're going to select the left forearm, and if you hold down shift and then click on the rotation, and we're just going to go 15 degrees. So if you do shift, it does it in increments of 15 degrees. So there you go. Next, we're going to select the left calf here. So same thing, grab that rotation, hold down shift and go 1, 15, 2, 30, 3, 45. And that is it. This is a great head start to getting to our animation phase, which we'll be covering in the next section of this tutorial. So for now, I'm going to call this one done and go ahead and keep an eye out for the second portion of this. I promise it won't be too long. I'm hoping to have the second portion of this tutorial out by the end of the week. But if you have any questions until then, feel free to reach out to me. Otherwise, until then, this has been 100% PowerPoint.